something Could have seen it in your eyes Took a second, but I'm right here Waiting for you with open arms How about you come in close so we can do my place Maybe we can try meeting up by seven You'll be saying over so it's guaranteed I'll be forever thinking more about you and me Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is Kristen. In case you don't know me, thank you so much for stopping by. And for my new subscribers, you are very much welcome to the family. For the returnees and my premier gang, I really appreciate you all. May God bless you. So guys, uh, today we just want to do a simple cleaning video yeah, of my bedroom. And uh, then later on we'll be cooking some kids snacks. So I'm um, starting uh, with my window. Yeah, so it's very dark. It, it 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 was dusty and when it started raining yeah there was some raindrops and uh, and uh, the window pane uh, tended to be a little bit muddy uh, because of the dust that had accumulated so i just want to clean uh, this window thoroughly uh, before i clean the whole room and uh, change the beddings so i hope that you get some motivation to do some cleaning in your house whichever room you want and uh, please share leave a comment down below and like the video guys so that it can be recommended to other uh, viewers Guys, in my whole house, this is the only window that I have a privilege to clean from the outside. The other windows, I cannot access the outside part. So this one, I normally just go uh, on the balcony and uh, clean from the outside using this uh, pipe. Of course, you know there is a there is a tap on my balcony, so uh, it's even much easier uh, to do that job. So after the window, I'll go ahead and wipe my bedside drawers, then wipe off the dust from the uh, headboard, and then I will make my bed.
So I'm going to still use this duvet that I have been using for like a week. So I'm going to, this time round, I'm going to put it in a duvet cover. And this is how I normally put my duvets in the duvet cover. You just uh, put the cover on top of the duvet and roll it. Yeah, then you, after, when you reach the end, you insert it this way and you pull it off. So one reason why I decided to deep clean this uh, bedroom is because I am returning. I had washed the carpet and uh, so I've decided to return it because it's been cold recently and uh, stepping on the empty floors, uh, it's it's very, uh, yeah, the feet tend to be so cold. So I want to return the carpet and I can't return the carpet in a dirty space. Yeah, normally I deep clean the space first before putting back the carpet. Last I got that sinking, sinking in my stomach from that life and Of course it's got me thinking, thinking's got me flummoxed from the cause I just wanna know why So this is how the room looks like before putting back the carpet. The floors are very clean. The window is clean. Uh, just everything is clean, sparkling clean. Feelings, feelings weighing heavy on my 
after returning the carpet i'll just go and un i'll just untie these uh, curtains and then we will be done with this uh, room So this is the final look of the room and uh, I think I'm happy that it's very clean and uh, very fresh and being that uh, today it's a weekend and so I'll be having a fresh room for the whole week, yeah. Last I got that sinking, sinking in my stomach from that life. So this is the next day. Uh, yesterday, I, after cleaning the bedroom, I wanted to hang this mirror, but I couldn't get a hammer. So today I've managed to get a hammer. So I just want to hang this uh, mirror. So I've started by removing this small mirror that I'll just placed here temporarily. Yeah, and uh, I'll be, I'll be uh, just... Uh, I'll be estimating where I need to put the mirror and I just use a nail yeah, to hang it with a string to hang it here. Though the mirror, the back side of the mirror has two hooks that you can hang, but Angel Degu advised me to use a string because using the hooks directly might spoil the mirror, guys. And you know, these mirrors are always very expensive and we can't, uh, get, we can't uh, take any chances of uh, spoiling them. So we have finally hanged it and this is how it looks like guys i think i love it it has blended in well with the console being that i have uh some golds in the living room and the mirror is white so it still blends in very well yeah so i'll go ahead and uh, wipe off the fingerprints from the mirror and uh, wipe off the dust from the console guys and that will be it here we are, we locked down in different cities And our virtual connection falls apart Guess it's been too many years since California let me know in the comment section what you think about it. If you think it's, it turns out well, I love the fact that it's reflecting the other side of the living room. And that wall really needs a good, a good frame. Yeah, I need to do away with those three frames. I need to get some cute big frame there. Uh, so guys, I want to make uh, some chin chin. So here I have a uh, flan. And this is uh, six cup of this. Yeah, six cups of flour. That is 250 ml times six, so one and a half kgs. And I also have milk. I also have some little water. I have two eggs. I have margarine and I have nutmeg. So what you are going to do, you 
you are going to so to my flour, I'm going to add one uh, tablespoon of uh, nutmeg and mix well. Then I will I will add some sugar. So for me, I added uh, a half cup of uh, sugar yeah, in the flour and then I mixed very well together. So I will later on add uh, margarine and uh, mix so that the flour can look like a scrambled particle. After preparing the flour to scramble particles, I will mix my uh, some of the milk with uh, my two eggs. If you are using less flour, please just use one egg is enough. So I will mix my two eggs with the milk and then add in vanilla essence. You can do any essence that you want and then I will mix it in my flour. So I will go ahead uh I will go in with my little water too and just uh, put a uh, little by little as I mix it well and uh, you don't need to mix it so much like uh, the chapati flour yeah you can just mix it for like two minutes and you are done here we are we locked down in different cities and our virtual connection falls apart guess it so now that we are done with the with the flour with the dough I'm going to put oil in my pan and uh, heat it yeah and heat it uh in the meanwhile as it heats up I will go ahead and roll the chin chin at uh, the dough then cut it into smaller pieces to make the chin chins we once knew when the walls weren't closing in like they are now cause it's been too many years since california i wish i could so i'm rolling as i put the smaller pieces on a tray yeah for deep frying and to cut it, to cut the chin chins i'm using this pizza cutter that i got from kamkunji at i think 150 or 200 kenya shillings guys so you can get yours there or you can use a knife to cut yeah but this one makes work easier so i will the, i will then put the the chin chins the pieces in the oil to defry and then um separate them yeah try to separate them so that they don't uh they don't stick on each other as they cook <laughs> Here we are, we locked down in different cities And our virtual connection falls apart Guess it's been too many years since California Now the memories of us is all I have 
So let me know if you have ever made this. If you if you normally make them, let me know how you make yours. Yeah. So I can also learn from your method. And uh, these things are very sweet and uh, they are good snacks for the kids, especially on weekends when they are around or even after school. Yeah. So you can try them out if you never made them. Just it's very simple. Just use the method that I have used and uh, you will love them. Take me back to the love that we once knew When the walls weren't closing in like they are now Cause it's been too many years since California I wish I could get there, I don't know how See one day I'm gonna reach ya Take a plane for many miles We pretend that time didn't pass So while cooking, I was pouring them on a tray and uh, so that they can cool and uh, they are already cold. So I will go ahead and put them in my snack jar. Yeah, so and uh, keep them for the kids. I'm not a saint, you mad. Your sugar coated doll is not so pure, my bad. So guys, if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. For my premier gang and my returnees, thank you so much for always supporting me. And for those who have already joined my family by subscribing, I really appreciate you guys. May God bless you. Guys, please like the video, share and leave a comment down below. And please don't skip the ads, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around till this end. May God really bless you. Let me see you in my next one. Goodbye. I love you all. Sorry. Read my lips. You don't like that. You're drowning with